If you are a supporter, you of course have access to GMP VIP. And let's have a look at some of the um, highlights that have been going on over there, because sometimes the GMP VIPs forget that they have this available to them with loads of resources uh, that get updated pretty much every day of the week over there at GMP VIP. Um, here it is on the screen now. Um, and I'll give you an example then. Um, it's got a really good search facility. So do, would somebody like to suggest something that I you want to test the system to see if and be kind because <laughs> we're working on it. Um, but give us something uh, 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 from Portuguese, uh, the Portuguese culture, um, a subject, and we'll search it and see what resources we've got over there at GMP VIP to, re to remind those of you who, who uh, very kindly support what we do um, with um, a monthly contribution over there at GMP VIP to show you the power uh, that's available at your fingertips um, if you want to learn something about Portugal, which is what we, we endeavor to do over there. We've got the community timeline, we've got the classroom resources, and we've got our calendar, and you can DM PM uh, members there as well. So it's our own little social network as much as anything else. And uh, recent attractions then have been uh, that, uh, was it a tomatillo or a tamarillo the other morning? And um, Antonio Barbosa is in there moving to Viana de Castelo in the Minha region. Um, it's a property listing in there. 11 reasons to move. I haven't even seen some of these myself um, just recently. 11 reasons to move to Portugal from the USA. Thank you very much. Let's answer that question which we asked the other day. I think people were all over that. Which European wine was used to toast the signing of the US Declaration of Independence? I, I was thinking you know, the clue might be it must be something Portuguese and that's why Michael and Catherine asked the question but was it port wine or was it Madeira turns out it was Madeira so case closed on that one Madeira would you believe was used to toast the signing of uh, Madeira wine was used to sign or to toast the signing of the US Declaration of Independence thank you very much for that uh, Michael and Catherine those sort of things over there yeah try something Portuguese the Portugal quiz and lots of other interesting news items like fines for slow drivers. Suddenly it all makes sense. You can, you can get fined for driving too slowly here in Portugal. Ah, here's something else I meant to play. You, you would ordinarily expect Frank on this particular Friday of the month. He's on tour at the moment, but we do have a, a message from him because somebody was asking, it was Andy Klein, I think, our top cameraman and documentary filmmaker who films our Discovery Weekends and the Englishman, the Irishman, and someone else walk into a bar. Uh, more to come from him in due course. And he'll be filming as well in Coimbra on the 9th and 10th of December. Andy asked the questions. He wanted some further clarification on understanding what, what goes on with uh, Portugal in relation to the Euro 2024 qualification campaign. So football fans uh, can look forward to Portugal. Well, they, they have done very well and have qualified with a clean sheet, uh, 10 out of 10 uh, for the uh, Euro qualifiers for next year. Andy was asking for a little bit more clarification on, on the whole business of uh, Euro 24 soccer. And we've got a message from Frank to, uh, to answer that question. Uh, 12 best cities to live in Portugal with our own little survey there. Let's have a look then. Most popular among the GMP VIPs is the Silver Coast, funnily enough, with most votes. Votes also for Northern Portugal for the Algarve. And somebody put in an other um, as well. Did you say so um, in the comments? Ah, the Asorish, but can be too isolated and quiet as well. Thank you, Antonio, for mentioning the Asorish there. We should have been in the original um, poll, of course, and one vote for the Algarve there. Thank you very much for that, GMP VIPs, alongside Josh from Expats Everywhere's 12 Best Cities to Live in Portugal. A little tribute to Sarah Tavares. What a beautiful voice. What a sad, 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 sad um, situation there that we lost the Cape Verdean singer last week. Um, and she's was absolutely wonderful voice and left an incredible treasury of work. And I think she came to popularity through a TV show and then uh, made her mark in Portuguese music, well, global music, to be fair, and um, some beautiful music you, that you can find for yourself on YouTube or Spotify, and our own suggestion there at GMP VIP. That um, great conversation that talked about Portugal's deep state with Doc and Bobby over there, and did we slip into some um, casual misogyny with that? Uh, did, you, did you see that yesterday? Apparently, it is so refreshing to witness a calm, rational, thoughtful conversation between differing political views. This is as it should always be. 
except for one glaringly missing element, two women of different viewpoints. Without that, we're only witnessing half of a whole. Please do not fall into the misogynistic myopia that is painfully present everywhere, but especially here in Portugal, says Eliz G over there on GMP VIP. I don't, I, you know, um, I get your point. And if any women do want to come, you know, if, I, I, honestly, I think it would be difficult to find two women uh, from the left and the right of Portuguese politics to come and talk about it on the show. I'm not saying I don't want to do it. I just don't think that's going to be a very easy thing to have happen. Um, if you are a woman who is on the left or the right, and you've got a friend who's on the other side of Portuguese politics, and you want to come and talk about it, I'd be delighted to host that conversation. Um, so no, no, no slight or um, misogyny was intended with how that got scheduled. It turns out that uh, coincidentally, Bobby and the doc, as far as I know, are biological males. Uh, exploring the crystal ball. I'm going to actually record this as a podcast as well. Uh, that's Antonio Barbosa there over on GMP VIP. A glimpse into Portugal's 2024 real estate market. Thank you for that, Antonio. I will be reading that out. Bacalhau recipes, another perspective on the holidays. Thanks to the slug for that. Um, he posted that up as well. So thank you very much for that. Uh, the slug's unique perspective on the holidays. And of course, we might hear a bit more about that on Monday when he joins us for a bit of mindful migration. And then back to that question, why don't we have good cider here in Portugal with an excellent explanation from um, Michael and Catherine. Um, I thought this was uh, really good uh, from Michael. We brew our cider in 20 litre beer kegs. Why have we not had any of that to try? And oddly enough, we have 15 trees too, but we planted trees specifically for cider production. We are still drinking the 2018 harvest, much more cost effective bottles and the odd chance of them blowing up if the secondary fermentation isn't controlled. Most commercial ciders are not real cider. This is what I thought was very interesting. They are apple or pear flavored alcohol made almost entirely from high fructose corn syrup. Yuck! Read the labels. Even the old British brands like Bulmers, etc., are made the same way now. How sad is that? Not even real apples. Uh, they're not real cider. They are high fructose corn syrup. Uh, with flavoring. That is awful, truly awful. Only artisanal cider makers can take the time required for picking and processing the apples to make proper cider or pomade. Thank you very much, Michael and Catherine. That's what you can look forward to over at uh, GMP VIP if you're a supporter or want to become one. Um, go to gmpvip.com, as you can see under my name on the 